is a, a new video. Hi everyone, my name is Amy. I'm the creator of Legends of the West, my graphic novel. And here an example, just, uh, I just finished to ink this page. And today on my video, I want to talk about paper for drawing manga, graphic novel and comic books. What type of paper I like to use and comparing uh, the, my old brand Copic that I used to buy and use for many years with a new one that I just bought and it's called The Later which is a popular brand, Japanese brand for art supplies specific for mangaka, for comic book artists. So stay with me and check my review and uh, also don't forget to subscribe to my channel i'm not i'm not very good on posting video regularly but i do my best to get more consistent yes <laughs> and uh don't forget you can read uh legends of the west on my website for free uh, on one.comics.com and webtoons. I post to every page, uh, every Thursday, Friday, mostly Thursday, but sometimes it can happen Friday and Saturday. <laughs> uh, but like I said, I do my best to be consistent. And uh, anyway, I leave all the links below and leave a comment. Uh, let me know at the end of the video what you think, what kind of paper you use. And uh, obviously, if you still like me, that drop by hand, uh, your manga or comic book, you still need paper, ink, pencil, regular, old school uh, art material. And I hope you it can help any of you uh, to draw in your artwork and uh, give you some idea and um, uh, just take a look leave a comment like maybe dislike too <laughs> and uh, subscribe support my art and thank you uh, for watching stay tuned okay so these are our different type of uh, manga paper that I use through the years and um, all of them the really good quality uh, manga paper paper for comic books and um, it's just that when you start to draw a comic book or a manga uh, you wanna choose, you need to get uh, manga paper or comic book paper because you probably, if you draw by hand, you might want to ink by hand as well. And um, so you need uh, a type of paper that hold well the ink and it doesn't get wrinkled or kind of bad looking type so you want to stay smooth and it has a natural nice color of white and not too yellowish or... and there are different kinds and brands out there and what I use mostly I'm gonna show you in a second is uh, the size of paper, this size here, that it's a pretty good size for a comic book, for drawing panels, and fairly nice uh, size of uh, pi uh, picture, a uh, frame, not too small, uh, not even too big, because uh, you don't want to have a really big um, size of paper sheet because uh, when you scan it, if you scan it like I do, uh, it won't fit in the scanner. Already this size is bigger than a scanner. And, uh, but because high framing in this way, uh, 18 centimeter by 27 centimeter, uh, the image, the whole page fit 
in the scanner. So if it, this area get cut, the, the white area get cut, I don't care. The most important thing is the frame, the image that get cut, that get scanned entirely. And then once uh, I use Photoshop or clips to your paint, I can always uh, adjust uh, uh, the size, you know, uh, it doesn't really matter. But uh, at least when you draw the frame for the your comic page, for uh, you know exactly where you Im the image is center, and you know how to draw each panel, you know, and nothing will get cut once you scan it. So you want to keep in mind this. So now there are different type. Uh, paper so this is a size b4 uh, a4 is this size it's way smaller it's a, like a photocopy paper almost I would say and if you can see the difference it's let's see it's very little too little for me for drawing I mean, if it barely, I mean, personally, I don't like this size because it's too small. I prefer to have the B4 size. Uh, I can do a few more. I need some space. Not too much, like a bigger size of paper, but uh, this one, for me personally, it's the best size. Not too big, not too small, and this one is way too small. Uh, sometimes I go over the panels if I, uh, I draw an old page, so um, I don't like this size. But anyway, so uh, this one, this paper here, this paper sheet, this is the last uh, uh, type of paper that I bought, and it's called... The later and comic book paper or manga paper comic books are basically mangas are basically is the word for comic books uh, uh, is the same thing but anyway the later uh, is the Japanese brand of uh, manga supplies they sell anything from pen nibs ink uh, manga paper, screen tones, books, uh, anything you need for drawing comic books. Um, and they have a website, thelater.com. And like I said in previous videos from their website, I never bought anything. Um, as far as I know, they set only PayPal payments and it comes directly from Japan. They have a good price, but the things it might take a little bit before your stuff gets uh, arrived because obviously it comes from Japan it might take a couple weeks before you receive it I don't know for sure I don't want to say things that I'm not aware so you're welcome to try I have Amazon Prime, Prime and I guess free shipping so I use it and they sell it on Amazon and this is the paper and as you can see it's a B4 size here type B4 and it's 135 kilogram as you can see here and the reason I show and it's made in Japan here if you can see it made in Japan Anyway, um, the reason why it's important to know the kilograms because, uh, well, obviously, uh, U.S. Uh, they have pounds, but um, you can always convert on Google. But you want something that it's a little heavier has paper. This is not heavy, heavy paper, but it's a little bit thick, a little bit and 
uh, is not thin like uh, photocopy paper or uh, print paper. And the reason why you want a little thick paper it's because this one is another comic book paper that I bought. Uh, I thought I was getting something like this one, but I got I received this one. And this one is good if you want to do tracing because it is very thin. And if it, and I thought I was getting a B4, but I got an A4. So, uh, yeah, if you want to do some tracing work, uh, this one works fine. Or some sketch. I'm not, uh, when I received it, I was very disappointed. This is, is wrinkled very quickly. As soon as you touch it, as you can see, uh, it gets all this wrinkle on your paper. Because it's so thin that it's so fine that uh, um, as soon as you put your hand in it wrinkles and this paper is, is this one uh, let's see if I can show it Copic Manga Illustration Paper and if I was reading before buying I was reading the I should have read the weight which is 65 grams and it's mean it's very thin the paper and I should to read the size A4 which is 210 by 297 millimeters which is 8.3 inches by 11.7 inches um, so it's small and it's very light and if you uh, if I ink with this one or I don't really enjoy the fact that as soon as I put the hands on this one it get wrinkled and um, I mean as you can see it's just awful but it's not because Copic uh, is bad Copic it's a really good brand and it's famous for uh, the markers and I always bought uh, screen tones and the paper from them it just I got the wrong type of paper it was a kind of it's I think this one should be more for um, if you want to do some sketch maybe even color with uh, the copy markers that's fine uh, it says excellent for pen and ink, technical pens and markers. Uh, like you can see here, if you can read it. But um, maybe some people like have a paper so thin. Uh, but to draw an old comic page with comic panels, and I can't imagine if I. Um, Drawing something with the pen, with the pencil, and then maybe erase it, and then redraw, it and then erase it. It happens, you know. Uh, it would get way through too much wrinkle and leave some. I think it really this one if it's good if you wanna uh, do a sketch with copy markers and or just with pencil, that's fine. But if you wanna draw uh, a page like this one. Uh, uh, with panels, I mean, a layout ready to be ink. Uh, no, I won't suggest it, but you can try. You can leave it your comment and let me know. But as you can see, the size is so small. Let's see. Yeah, too small. Anyway, so this is one type of paper for. Uh, drawing mangas, but like I said, it's better for sketching or do a little sketch with comp markers. And this one is the paper, the comic paper that I just bought. And I'm ready to ink these panels, and I want to see how uh, looks like. I even bought the ink um, from the later. Is this one uh, it's a black ink 
and it's uh, water resistant and I want to see how how it, I had the excellent reviews um, and I paid five dollars for this one but is uh, how many a 30 milliliter uh, it's good I mean I want to try see how how it's gonna be the result and usually the ink that I always use is this one is the black Indian ink uh, from Bombay dot, uh, Dr. Phil Martins and I'm sorry that it's dirty but you can find it Hobby Lobby, Michaels, AC Moore, Amazon, everywhere and it's a really good ink but since I bought the, the later paper I said well let's give a try to the ink for the ink anyway so this one is the newest paper that I bought then uh, this is another panel with the same this one is an old type of paper that I got that went on my adventure in um, Los Angeles over 10 years ago, uh, Tokyo Pop, uh, when I was trying to find a publisher, <laughs> uh, I went to Tokyo Pop. Anyway, Tokyo Pop, it's a long story. Anyway, Tokyo Pop gave me a bunch of paper uh, for drawing comic books. And this is pretty thick as well. Not as much as the, the later, uh, but it's decent and it's very smooth. And if you can see, I hope you can see from the camera, is um, ruled. There are the measuring here. So for the bleeding. And this one is 18 by 27 centimeters. But that's where I got the measurement for my for my panels. Um, so this one is ruled. Let's see if you can see better with the camera. I hope so. But you can see the rules, the numbers here. And those are centimeters. And there are no inches. But Taki Papa gave me this one. It's just because centimeter, when you have to draw something, it's way more precise than inches. And the metric six system is way more precise than the um, other system. But anyway, the American system. But anyway, uh, so this is when, what you get if you buy um, a paper that says rule it paper or with the measurement. And some people prefer use this kind of paper because as you can see, you, you just draw the lines and you have basically the ruler it's like have a ruler right there so uh, I usually I prefer the old plain the plain paper sheet but uh, the later the brand I show you a uh, second ago they sell plain sheets or with the ruler like this one and it's good paper I mean I, this one is from Japan too and it's 110 kilograms. I don't know if you can see uh, here. Let me see. It's 110 kilograms. And so it's not as heavier than than the than the letter, but it's still. Now, this one doesn't mean that the paper weighs 110 kilograms because kilograms are pretty heavy. It's just the whole pack of paper will weight uh, oh, 110 kilograms. But it, uh, uh, if you divide for the sheets, for the paper sheets, then you, you get the real weight. But anyway, so, and this one is 210. 20 by 310 millimeter so it's mean it's 22 centimeter by 31 centimeter 
Well, anyway, so this one is a type of paper. This is an old drawing that I did over 10 years ago. It was an experiment. So this one is one of the paper that I really like it, but I can't find it anymore. And it's called, it's from Copic paper. Uh, let's see. It's from Copic paper and is paper selection. And it's number five and it's a B4 and the measurement is 257 by 364 millimeter and it's 157 grams um, and that mean this paper is so smooth I'm sorry you can't uh, you can't uh, touch it you know but it's so smooth very smooth uh, and the ink in this paper scroll I mean it's amazing I really enjoy it and this one uses screen tones this is a uh, chapter one uh, of legends of the west and this is one of my old drawings and uh, draw years ago and I got this paper in a comic convention in Los Angeles uh, I should have got more of these, but I can't find it anymore. I even went on Copic website, see if I couldn't find it, but I uh, didn't have a, any luck. But anyway, this is a type of paper that's really good, very smooth, and it's perfect for comics. And it's still it's made in Japan, as you can see because Copic obviously is a Japanese brand and I really love this paper. Um, unfortunately, I check, uh, I didn't have any luck, but uh, maybe you will. <laughs> but anyway, this is so old that the screen tone and start to get yellow here but anyway it's a natural white it's not too bright but it's so smooth really that um i don't know the ink i really the inking with on this paper is just so easy anyway this is and this is my last uh, paper uh, that I want to show you and this one is the is still a Copic paper and I'm gonna put the image of the brand because unfortunately I throw away uh, the original paper the cover the brand but uh, it's a B4 and it's it's a little thick but it's not as thicker as the, the later one and it's a nice paper. I mean, uh, I use most of them basically when I, I, I run out of the, the Copic paper selection. I start to use this other type of Copic paper sheets and it works fine. Uh, I think I, I prefer a little bit better the, the later. Uh, this one. I think I prefer a little bit better this one because um, this type of paper is a little bit thicker than this one just a little bit and I think it's more um, rigid uh, I don't know how you say how you say but it's a, I, I, I like it when it it's not too thick, but it's not too thin, and I prefer, uh, and the color pretty much is the same, same color, white, uh, it doesn't really say if it's a natural white, natural white is mean that there is two types, natural white and um, uh, bright white. Uh, I think this is more like a natural white, but um, 
is a professional using plain plain paper yeah it doesn't really say what type of white it is because it changed a little bit sometimes some paper they say natural that a little the the sheet is a little yellowish but it's not bad i mean it's all it's depend um it's very personal some people prefer yellowish color and other people prefer really bright color but this is i mean i like use this paper um uh, i always suggest to try it uh, and i know there are other brands many many other brands of paper and i'm sure they are all good i mean i don't but you kind of have to um uh, pick try which one you prefer and uh, see what works best for you but uh i'm ready to ink uh this comic page with the, the later ink and i want to see the result and i'm gonna show you here in a second all right okay so this is the final result uh the i uh, ink uh my page and honestly I'm very satisfied uh, the paper sheet uh, it's very nice uh, super smooth um, the ink uh, flow fast and nice and uh, the ink uh, the, the letter ink that I use uh, this one I'm honestly pretty happy uh it's a very dark black ink it doesn't leave any brownish or grayish or watery uh texture like some ink can't leave and it dry quickly so it's super, it's very good because sometimes as you can see i kind of left a little uh drop here but anyway um i'm very happy with the result uh definitely uh sorry my dogs are barking uh definitely i give to uh the, the later ink number four uh a 10. i think it's even better than my usual ink the dr martins which is really good this one too but i will give this one a nine and the, the letter get a 10. uh i'm very satisfied i really like the fact that the ink is really black and it's not watery it dries really fast and it's very smooth I like the texture and everything it's so easy honestly inking with uh, the paper this type of paper and this ink so because uh, although some art supplies it doesn't really matter what you use but uh, uh, some if you get the right paper and the right ink and the right uh, pen nibs uh, inking the inking process get uh faster and you enjoy it better um so i give to this paper here i'll show you one more time that's the paper that i use uh i give a 10 uh on a scale one to ten they get definitely a 10 and the ink as well get a 10 so the lighter is a really good brand and definitely i will rebuy back uh the paper and I honestly i'm going to switch uh the ink from dr martins uh to the letter and this one i pay i think on amazon or, or it was less than five dollars um with prime so free shipping that's good uh price always change on amazon uh sometimes they have different offers and they have different um number gradation and this is japanese obviously i can't read it but when i read on amazon 
uh, was saying basically waterproof, uh, fast dry, and I'm sure all of them are uh, worth it. And the, maybe they differ from each other. That's why I have some different numbers. But uh, honestly, I would suggest to try and. I always say it's you have to test what works better for you because everybody is different and everybody does different in different way and likes different uh, supplies so for me the later uh, is a really good brand I give a 10 like I said and I'm going to rebuy it and uh, you're welcome to test it out and see if you like it and if you try it or if you already know this brand you can leave a comment and talk about it your experience and share your thoughts and I'm going to do another video uh, about my inking process my tips and the way I do maybe it can help some of you anyway um, so that's it for my video and remember to subscribe uh, if you want uh, subscribe to my channel check my website one.comics.com and uh, I post every Thursday one page of Legends of the West on my website one.comics.com and on webtoon uh, I'll leave the links all below and uh, I'll see you next time with my next video and open